A cordial greeting. Today is Saturday, September 20, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this short video I'll be giving you an update on Tropical Storm Gabriel, which is located in the subtropical Atlantic and has begun to strengthen. Then I'll talk about the next tropical wave we're monitoring in the Atlantic, which currently maintains a low chance of tropical development as it moves west-northwest. Outside of these two areas of interest, the rest of the Atlantic remains quiet. First, let's zoom in on the visible satellite animation of Tropical Storm Gabriel. After facing problems with wind shear and dry air, the system is now moving into a sector where the atmospheric conditions are much more favorable for strengthening. At the moment, it has maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour, but as it moves northwest-northward it is forecast to strengthen into the second hurricane of the season as it passes just east of Bermuda. On satellite we can see that the cyclone looks much healthier with convection developing over the circulation center, which is a clear sign of favorable conditions for intensification. Looking at the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, the system is projected to keep moving northwest at least until early Monday morning. By tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, it is expected to strengthen into Hurricane Gabriel, and then should take a turn toward the northeast, passing far from the island of Bermuda. The NHC forecast suggests it could reach Category 2 though a stronger major hurricane, Category 3, cannot be ruled out. Fortunately, it should remain over open waters of the Atlantic. Now let's take a look at the visible satellite animation of the tropical Atlantic, where we have a strong tropical wave that we'll be monitoring over the coming days. For now, the disturbance remains disorganized, and any tropical organization will be very slow due to the dry and stable air that persists across the tropical Atlantic. That's why the National Hurricane Center is keeping development chances at 20% over the next seven days. Also notice that during last night and this morning, the area of potential development remains east and northeast of the Caribbean. This suggests that if a system were to form, it would likely pass far northeast of the Caribbean. However, if it stays weaker, it could track closer to the northern Lesser Antilles. At least the good news is that most global models do not develop this tropical wave, and as of this morning only the European AI model shows a tropical depression approaching the northern Lesser Antilles. So development chances should remain low today unless the models start showing stronger organization. Looking at the European Ensemble, notice that only about 10-15% to 15 of its members develop the tropical wave into a depression or tropical storm, and those that do keep it on a track well northeast of the Caribbean. On the other hand, if we look at the American Ensemble, they also show a fairly weak system, with only a few members developing a depression or tropical storm, and those that do favor a northwestward track. Meanwhile, the Google AI Ensemble delays development of the tropical wave, and while most of its members eventually develop it into a tropical storm in about six to seven days, they do so far away from the Caribbean. So for now, the Caribbean can remain at ease, since this wave only has marginally favorable conditions for development, and if it does organize faster than expected, it will probably take a track well away from the region. That said, it's always important to keep monitoring, because a system that takes longer to organize could end up tracking closer to the Caribbean. But for now, everyone can stay calm. There are no direct tropical cyclone threats in the Atlantic. Well, that's all for this video. But before I go I'd like to invite you to give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. I hope you all have an excellent weekend. See you later.